Hello! Today's drink is called the Magatama, based on the amulet worn by Asagi in Gamera Guardian of the Universe. Specifically, I want it to look like it does when she's connecting with Gamera, as seen here. Like so. You will need your drink vessel, your shot glass or other measuring glass, some gold luster dust, and we've got some prep work before you can start mixing. To prep for this one, you're gonna need an ice cube tray with at least, I don't know, four spaces? We're gonna fill those spaces with mango juice, or whatever from concentrate, partially mango flavored, whatever nonsense you can find. So I'm gonna fill up a few of these. Mango juice. There we go, it's more than enough. If you're feeling extra adventurous, add some curry powder to some of these. More than I wanted to put in on that one. Whoops. Mix that all up in there. Wildly inconsistent, but that's fine. That's half the fun. Stick them in the freezer. There we go. To achieve a nice red color, we're going to start with some strawberry soda. Just one part. There we go. Make it a little darker with some root beer. One part of this. There we go. Next, you're going to want some cinnamon schnapps. I initially tried with this red stuff, but it was disgusting. This is like mentholated. It's got some kind of cough drop or kid's medicine Listerine type of after effect. I'm going to go with one of my favorites. Just get one part of this. And if you get the kind with little gold flecks in it, that's perfect, because we're going to add some gold anyway. Take some gold dust, add that to the shot, mix it up. You can add a little more gold if you'd like. Just drop knives everywhere, mix that up. Nice and swirly. Add that in. So far, so good. Now it's time for the mango cubes. I'm going to go ahead and add in some of the ones with the curry powder, just for fun. I'm just going to fill up the rest of the glass with these. There we go. Kind of hard to see the gold on camera. Now this won't let you psychically link with a giant turtle, but if you get drunk enough, it might feel like it. Today we're gonna unbox a fresh case of Gamera high-grade capsule figures. They come in this nice long rectangular box. That box comes sealed. The barcode says Gamera, HG Gamera Ichi one box, eight pieces. So this box does contain eight capsules. There are four different types of figures in the set. There's Flying Gamera, Standing Gamera, Flying Gauss, and Standing Gauss. Statistically speaking, there should be two full sets in this case. However, I've seen some other reviewers receive so many duplicates and miss out on one or two of the figures. So hopefully I get at least one of each in here. Get this open here. There they are, nice red capsules. And don't. Yeah! Here's all eight. They come in these translucent red capsules. So we can basically see, in theory, which one's inside. Like here we have a Gamera shell. The Gamera ones also are much heavier since he's got so much more heft and weight to him. There's one of his claws. The Gauss ones have a lot more pointier bits. There's one of the red claws. They've got thinner parts for the wings. So let's see what we got. These come with tape wrapped all the way around them just to make sure they're extra secure inside the machines, I suppose. This off of here. All right, our first one is... All right, one of the Gauss. Looks like one of the flying ones. Comes with a little booklet. Interesting, it's in black and white. There you go. That's new, the Gamera 55 logo. I haven't seen that before. Open this up. We've got information on the inside. On the other side, we can see all four flying forms and standing forms. Let's see what's next. This one is still taped up. This one is, I think it's a Gamera. Yes. This is icy legs, so it must be standing Gamera. Number three, looks like another Gauss. This one could be, oh, looks like there's a, a foot stand here. So the standing Gauss. So far, so good. Number four is upside down, and ooh, flying camera. Sweet, one of each <laughs> on the first four. Excellent. All right, let's see what our four duplicates are. Got another standing camera. Got another Gauss. Which one? Flying Gauss. Got another the Gauss. This is standing. We've got another camera. Standing camera. Okay. 
So the breakdown for this case, we have one single flying camera, two standing gauss, two flying gauss, and three standing camera. Not bad. Let's check these out. Flying camera comes in just a few pieces, all sealed in plastic. Wow, these are bigger than I expected, considering they're what, three bucks a piece, 300 yen. Gamera comes in six pieces. We have two shell pieces, big tab, stick them together. Really nice detail on this. It attaches to the rest of the body, just pegs in like so. Plugs in nice and tight. Again, great detail. Then you just need to add the arms. If you're confused on which arm goes where, for some reason, they have two very different tabs. This is hard to plug in. There we go. That is, that is secure in there. Next one. Last but not least, the head. Plugs right into the rest of the body. There we go. Great detail on these. Great paint. There's our flying camera. All right, standing camera. Can you get this open? Seven pieces. This main body comes pretty much all together. You can see it's got some gapping here, and that's because it does come apart into its separate pieces, just like the flying one. Plug that in there, and then plug in the rest of the body to it. I wonder if it's the same... Hold on, let me see. Let's get Gamera's shell off here. Let's compare. Looks like the exact same sculpt, the exact same connection ports. In the real test, can this plug in to the flying one? Yes, perfectly. That's very clever. Great way to reuse that mold. The main body is different. It's got space for the tail, the arms and legs, and the head. Get our tail in there. You know what, I might wanna take the shell off for better access. There we go. Legs come in from the side here. Another leg. Nice. Right arm. Left arm. And the head. Wonder if the heads are the same. Let's see. Pop these off. Can this head go over here? Yes, it can. Same heads. Nice. Now the arms had different connection ports, so you can't swap those out. And they are in different poses. Feet are smooth on the bottom, but everything else has Awesome detail. There's our standing camera. Check out some gauss. Have some of this first. Oh, open our gauss. Pieces. Comes in eight pieces. Each wing has two parts. Might not be able to see, but it says R2 inside the wing. And this says R2 here. So they match up. Just plug it in like so. There's one. This one says L2, plugs right into the other side. These plug into the main body. We've got our tail, the nice long piece in there. Oh yeah, we just gotta get our legs in. It's a tight fit. There we go. And our last leg. This is big. This is much, much bigger than I had anticipated. Gauss is painted in this brown color. Red on the eyes, red on the claws, red on the toes. The top of the head appears to be molded in a separate piece, but it seems to be glued in. I don't want to risk breaking it trying to pop that off. There's our two flying kaiju. Come on. All right, standing gauss. Looks like nine pieces, including the stand. Stand is molded in the same brown as the rest of the gauss. Unlike the Gamera, the Gauss doesn't look like it shares any parts with its other version, except for maybe the top of the head. Mine must have been squished in the capsule because it has this kind of bent, beaky little nose there. I don't hate it. <laughs> All right, for the wings, we have L2. Plug that in. Top and bottom there. Second wing, this is R2. Now the wings have totally different plugs and connection ports, so you shouldn't get those confused. Plug it into the body, maybe, there we go. Now these are in a pretty pliable rubber. Even though it's got all these sharp bits, I don't feel like I'm gonna hurt myself and I don't feel like I'm gonna break them. All right, 
then we get that tail plugged in, and our legs. One, and done. Now it can stand on its own if you balance it on its tail, but it looks like we should get this stand on there. So I just attached it to one of the feet, and there is space below the tail there. It doesn't show anything in the instructions about the stand, so it's entirely possible that this goes over a foot, which doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be this foot. There we go, there's our gas. There we go. And here's Gauss next to one of the older high grades. So you can see he's much bigger. Here's an older flying gas figure, a little bit bigger. Not as dynamic of a pose. One of the neat things about the drink is that when the drink is all gone, you do have these nice slowly melting mango cubes with a touch of other flavor and some booze. But I don't recommend eating them straight if you're prone to brain freeze. Here's all four. I got my case from Hobby Link Japan. Like I said, it was about 300 yen per figure. So the case came out to be about 24 bucks, plus, you know, international shipping. The cases are currently sold out on Hobby Link Japan. Not sure if they're available anywhere else at the time of this recording. You can find someone who got a case and see if you can buy their duplicates. These are really sweet figures and I'm amazed they're only 300 yen. So I hope you find the ones you're looking for. In the meantime, good luck on your hunt and please drink responsibly.